Oh, my stars. Well, we knew it was coming to this. <laughs> Why am I surprised? Uh, I mean, you may not believe in predictive programming, but um, this lady mentions a movie a long time ago. Uh, I don't know when it was. I didn't see it. That talked about this very thing. Now, it may not happen right away, but it might. Let me tell you what she's talking about. And this is a channel I never heard of. Somebody sent me this in my email. And it's from Hard News TV 2. So maybe they have another channel also. But uh, the title is March 3rd, 2020, Coronavirus and, quote, End of Life for Elderly People, unquote. And she is saying how uh, with elderly, well, this article here, there's a couple articles she references and they're in the description box. With the elderly at high risk of coronavirus, nursing homes set to isolate patients move to hospitals. But they don't mean your local, like that one right over there or a little farther is UAB and UAB Highlands. Across town we got another one and west we got another one. They don't mean them. They mean the ones FEMA's setting up right now. And it shows, um, I think it's this video. The, um, the military vehicles, might not be this one, but there's a video I watched. <coughs> oh, that might be another one. But anyway, this is a really good one. It's talking about the elderly and how they want to isolate us. It's only 8 minutes and 20 seconds. And, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the articles are put out by, um, let me go up here and click on, let's see, now how do you get to the description box? Hmm, Okay. I see, you got to go all, see now every video that talks about the coronavirus, the WHO puts their label under it and it says, get the latest information from the World Health Organization about coronavirus. They want you to get your information from them. Okay, hmm. yeah, I trust them as much as I trust the CDC and the NIH. All right, this one's from NOLA, N-O-L-A dot com news. And there's one from Business Insider. Let's talk, it's for, uh, uh, from Blue Cross Blue Shield analysis. It says U.S. Alzheimer's diagnoses has tripled among 30 to 64-year-olds, according to a Blue Cross and Blue Shield analysis. So, when I go to the doctor tomorrow and she asks me how my memory is, I'm going to tell her, oh, it's just fine. Uh, just ask me anything. I know who the president is and everything. <laughs> I'll laugh. I should tell her, buddy, shush. Buddy, hush. <laughs> then there's one from Forbes. There's one from WSJ. Not sure who that is, but it's talking about where the firefighters we're in, are now in isolation after responding to nursing home with virus outbreak. <clears throat> One a gal didn't wear a mask when they went in. It's like, so now they all got exposed and they're all in isolation or even um, quarantined. So like that whole fire department is 18 of them are out of commission. And then there's, uh, this one is from google.com search. 
she's got an article or she talks about euthanasia and assisted suicide and the, and the places where that's already legal and they're wanting to bring it here and Bloomberg, I I don't think he'll go anywhere, presidential thing, but um, he's he she uh, gives a lot of his opinion. Now he wants, um, he just thinks we ought to just let the old people die. So uh, huh. anyway, I thought some of you might uh, be interested in this aspect of the illness. So I'm going to let it go with this. Um, I'll just end it here and say I'll talk to you later. All right, I'll let you know if anything else interesting is in my email. All right, or if I see it somewhere else. Okay, bye-bye. Talk to you later.